All right. And now it's Aerith's turn, finally. I did plan to do her like after Yuffie, but I accidentally took a peek at her date a while back, so I can save her for the <laughs> Those are some pillow marks. You must have been out like a light. You know, there's a showing of Loveless about to start. And I've got two tickets to it. We should go. Also, the Skywheel's running a special for couples. Limited time only. For couples? As in... I'll leave that up to your imagination. It's more fun that way. What about the others? Forget about them. For now, anyway. Oh. Come on. But then again, there is a lot. I, re I only saw it once, and I really don't remember a good amount of it, so... It's still pretty fresh. In a sense, I guess. Besides, I think people would prefer me to save their preferred best for last, even though Tifa's was probably the best one out of this bunch. I've kind of been doing them like best to worst in terms of quality, and I think I nailed that with the way I've done things. I mean, aside from Aerith, but. If I were to put this in the official ranking, I'd say she'd probably be number three. Time, um, yeah, given that, you know, I haven't really seen her performance in Love Lust yet officially. I'll go through it in full this time, one last time. Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? You've already seen the intro, just... I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Alfred! Are you unharmed? Rosa! How did you find me? Your woeful cries could not fail to reach mine ears. you stand in his dominion, for I am Barbados, the Dragon King, and by the draconic power that courses through my veins, I shall give you ample cause to rue this day. Pride goeth before the fall, and I, Garm, shall deliver you to hell. 
How shall your feeble aegis fare against piercing fang and keenest claw? Let's find out. May my infernal fangs find their mark and taste of your flesh. seen a swordsman dance with such grace and skill. The goddess must have seen fit to grant him a sliver of her strength. Perhaps his dreams of becoming a hero may yet be fulfilled. Now then, ha, hail and well met, noble Alfred. Though I am but a humble fool, some talent and divination do I possess. Anything you wish to know, I shall gladly reveal. What is the future if not the product of choices past? Each a fork in the road, none can divine the conclusion of every path. And yet, all tales that begin with a chance encounter share the same end. Tearful farewell. Well, that's enough of my blethering. It's time we set the stage in you. Tremble in fear before the mighty dragon's roar. Enough to prove his heroism once and for all. He had been unjustly imprisoned and stripped of his wings. Nevertheless, Alfred was resolved to press onward and reclaim the heavens. Now, without further ado... Friends, lend me your ears. Our aspiring heroes and indomitable princess's tale draws to a close. Only one act remains. Parting is indeed such sweet sorrow, but as they say, all good things must come to an end. Though it is our wish that this tale remain with you long after we are gone. So, my friends, will you join us in our conquest of despair?
spectacular. Though our tale be lovely stain, we may yet restore hope to this heartbroken world. The Dragon King Varvados fears only true love, and so our hero Alfred will reveal to him its power. He will go to his beloved and proclaim the blessed bond with a kiss. Now, stand before your soulmate and let the world know your heart. get the S rank. It's like I can't do this without just a single mistake. and broken. I can sign you to the abyss. An inspiring victory, truly. Proof that love indeed conquers all, is it not? <laughs> what awaits you at journey's end, I wonder? Will the goddess grant you her blessing? Or will the flames of vengeance consume you? All shall be revealed, O oh puppet of fate. So dance while you still have time. Dance to your frayed strings break, and you can dance no more. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured, I shall return. You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. like without Cloud having one of his co-stars with him as his date.
Those flowers are a symbol for unity, aren't they? <sighs> That's gotta mean something. For how this is all gonna unfold. I mean, I know it has something to do with the ending, but for our final chapter. I'm just, I just can't, it just can't come soon enough. Really, I'm curious on like what it's gonna be like, how it's all gonna end. I am also curious about the theme song for it, now that I've heard this one like a thousand times. <laughs> Music's different. I mean, it's played the.
experience. Could even call it life-changing. Guess so. Maybe you ought to go pro. You know, I just might. Attention! The Skywheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Uh-oh. We gotta hurry. Last call, folks! Thank you for joining us for tonight's special performance of Loveless. If you'd like to continue the Yeah, they, I can definitely see them wanting to make this one the canon choice. Show but... for one free ride on the Skywheel. Yes, name is Grant, and I'll get you there. I will tell you that. But... Special moments you have with these characters, they reveal a lot more. We've arrived at your destination. For all canon, like, each of them had, like, their moment at some specific point aside from this. But if they wanted to go with this, are you ready to ride? they probably should have, you know, given us something like Teethless Day. Zach. How they were friends five years ago. What? I don't think so. At least not about anything important. Oh. Earth. 
Thanks for tonight. You're welcome. But I didn't do anything. <laughs> well, market warriors, you and me. We'll show them tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Pause now. There we go. Well, guys, that's all the dates. That was... That was really something. Um, Yeah, I think... I still think Tifa was, was the best. In terms of, you know, my pers my personal opinion, yeah, Yuffie is a close second, just given, like, her little sibling dynamic she has with Cloud, and, you know, how it unfolded in theirs. <laughs> you know, just how things just played out with them. This... I mean, I guess in terms of the intimacy, yeah, this would be number two. It's kind of hard for me because, like, it's one or the other with these two for number two and three. Then Reds, of course, and then Barrett, and then, of course, the rest, then everybody else. But yeah, I mean, I kind of wish they were all canon. Like, like I was saying, like, I wish they all, all these moments, like, happened at some point in the game. They're all really good. I really, f they they definitely reveal not a lot, not just about the characters, but I guess in some sense the story too. So yeah. I'm curious, on like if they're gonna try something like this with part three and how it would play out. Of course, there's a lot to look forward to. I mean, of course, there's the whole climax and you know getting the rest of everything else, like the summons and the rest of the boss fights, you know. The final act with the meteor and Sephiroth. Apparently, Nomura wants a golden ending, like everyone getting a happy ending. I'm not sure how it's gonna play out, but <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, I just wanted to come back to this game for a bit and you know react to all this, and maybe at some point try and redo the final chapters now that I have Gilgamesh again. <laughs> Try and redo the final chapters again now that I have Gilgamesh, that's what I meant. But with that all said now the way, I hope you all enjoyed, and I shall see you in the next one. Peace out.